Hi, this is Paweł from Beam Object. Today I will show you how to use and configure our newly published objects, which we have done for Parma Company, manufacturer of heaters and radiators. As usual, you can look for this product on our portal by typing the keyword, which in this case is the name of the brand, Purmo, and you can see there are 42 product families, which contains almost 20,000 types of heaters and radiators. Let's choose a random one, Mauritius in this case. On the product page we'll find description, specification text with some additional info, links to manufacturer's website, related information, classification according to different standards, and the list of the regions where this product is available. Each product page also contains a 3D preview with some selected types of those heaters. As you can see on this example, there are different sizes and there is also possibility of selection of different level of development, which means that you will be able to see different quality of geometry for the particular heater. If you would like to download the objects, you can click the download button. There is a plenty of different formats, 3DS, ARCHICAD, AutoCAD, IFC, Revit files, and also SketchUp. If you would like to get more information about the Perma company, you can click their logo, and here we'll find some additional info with contact details, phone numbers and addresses. Ok, now let's move to our Archicad project. I already created one with different heaters to show you the different possibilities of configurations. If you would like to configure your own heater, you need to place it in your project. As usual, you need to select the object and open the settings window. There are four sub-pages responsible for the configuration. First one is product parameters, where you will find some typical data like dimensions, different types and different level of developments. Also, you will be able to change the color from the raw palette delivered by the manufacturer. Mm, please notice that if you will change any dimensions like width or height, you will also get different output values. Output values which means different power, different weight and different water capacity. On the second page you will find MEP connections, so you are able to configure it according to your needs. Those heater can be connected, this one can be connected uh, on the different corners here. You can also change different MEP system, heating, cooling, sprinkler or undefined. Third one is responsible for appearance in 2D and 3D. And the last one contains some useful information, like link to manufacturer's website, product description, installation instructions, and technical description. If you have your own heater placed in a project, you can, of course, access this option one again. And let's say that I, I would like to add MEP connections to this one, so I need to have these two boxes checked. I need to select different MEP system. Let's say that it will be heating and on this side will be sprinkler. I confirm it with OK. And now I am able to add a pipes to my heater. Please notice that you will need also have to install an uh, Archicad plugin responsible for MEP connections. You will find it here, MEP modeling. And if you have it, you can attach a pipe to your heater by selecting the pipe from the menu and you will be able to, let me select this point, here is the first one and here is another one. Ok, now let me show you how to use these objects in Revit. Each Perma series is available to download as a Revit family with all of the types prepared as a Revit family type catalog, which in this case means TXT files. Beside the Revit family, you can also download the material library containing all of the raw colors available to apply on those heaters. You will find it on each product page. In this case, I already have a project which contains some example series of these heaters, but of course you can use and import your project any of the types and series published on Beam Object Portal. All objects are prepared as a wall-based or floor-based families, 
depending on the usage recommended by the manufacturer, so you can easily align them with the rest of elements which you have in your project. If you would like to use a particular color of heater in your project, you need to add the Revit material library available on the product page to your Revit project, then click Edit Type button and choose any of the color from the RAL palette. Regarding additional functionalities and possibilities of their configuration, all of the heaters are prepared as an objects ready to connect to your installation system. Each has got a few MEP connectors and you are able to add a pipe by clicking the icon which is beside the heater. Like on this example, I added the pipe on the right side and also I will add another one on the left side. As usual, all objects have been prepared with three levels of development, which in this case mean the different quality of geometry shown on the screen. It can be accessed by clicking the Detail Level button at the bottom of the Revit window. As you can see, all geometries of all of the objects are changing according to my chosen details level. Thanks for watching. Bye!